vanha peli, pelisarja Wing Commander, oli AAA avaruuslentopelisarja 900-luvulla ja 2000-luvun alussa. Yksi ensimmäisiä todella kovarla rahalla tehtyjä pelejä oli Wing Commander 4, joka oli ennätys siihen aikaan. 15 miljoonaa dollaria. Usko, että tää liian kovaa. Ja tosiaan niin kun pelisarja sitten meni Origin firman mukana niin kun sinne, minne, minne kuolleet pelisarjat menee. Eli jonkun IP omistukseen, mutta niin, niin fanit teki siitä sen Killratti-sodan lopusta tämmösen näin niin kuin Darkest Dawn nimisen pelin. Tää on Free Space 2 moottorilla tehty ja tässä on käytetty Open Free Space ja mistä, mistä mä tän löysin ja käynnistinkin. Kaikki on tuotettu tosiaan niin kuin ihan itse tähän näin. Ainoastaan nime, nimeä on käytetty ja tota, tarina elementtejä. Taistellaan alien rotua vastaan, jonka nimi on Kilrati. Ne on turreja, eli kissa humanoideja. Meidän päähenkilö on tässä. Ja tota noin, niin te, sota on tässä vaiheessa kestänyt 40 vuotta ja nyt kissat pääsi tiputtelemaan ydinpommeja maapallolle, eli, eli nyt ei me hyvin. Ja sijoittuu siis äh, tarinallisesti. Tota noin, niin kolman, kolmannen pelin aika. Kolme, kolme ensimmäistä peliä oli niinku sitä sotaa ja... Wall of Text. Jaha, ja potkitaan sitten ulos nopeasti niinku... Lentäjiä vaan Akatemiasta. Mikä tämä on? Tosi elämäkö? Good morning, newcomers. As you may know, my name is Major Boz. I'm the executive officer of this fighter wing and the squadron leader of the Diamondbacks. In case you didn't know, we're in the Oberon system of the Vega sector. Today, we will be doing basic flight training to understand the ins and outs of using your fighters, as well as covering some basic navigational skills. For this exercise, we will be flying the F-27 Arrow. The latest version of this versatile reconnaissance fighter interceptor was recently deployed to active duty, replacing both the Ferret and the Epi. It's light, fast, and maneuverable. Respect the arrow, and the arrow will respect you. If you recall the technical specifications, the arrow can carry a large number of missiles. For this hop, though, you won't have any. We wouldn't want any of you rookies to go around blowing yourself or your wingman up, now would we? Sandman, Champ, and Panzer, I'm your instructor for this hop. You other newbies will have one of the Wellington's other veteran pilots as your trainer. Pilots, board your fighters and launch from the Wellington only after you have orders from your instructor. Sandman, Champ, and Panzer, don't touch anything in your cockpit before I tell you to. Dismissed. All right, pilots. Let's get started, shall we? Yes, sir. Affirmative. I was born ready. Okay, then. First, we will exit the carrier's hangar bay before we review some basic controls. I have taken over control of your fighters for the moment. So sit back and relax. Wellington Control, we are ready. Request permission to launch. Lieutenant Bredizel here, Major. I will bring you home at the end of your work day. Be advised that we have other training wings active in the area. You are cleared for takeoff. I have 
return the ship's controls back to you, Lieutenants, but I've also accessed your shipboard computers, and they will send you periodic messages. That do Now, target my fighter, Lieutenants. Nothing more, nothing less. Target acquired. I have a strong lock, sir. Okay, you got it. Keep me targeted. Tuota now tähän. let's review some basic engine controls. But don't touch anything until I tell you to do so. Is this really necessary, sir? We've been over this a thousand times. <laughs> Not under my supervision, you haven't. And if you are going to fly my birds, I want to be absolutely certain you know what you are doing. Okay, mun täytyy näköjään muuttaa noita nappeja, niin eh, jonkin aikaa menee tässä näin. Vaihdoin vähän niin kuin in invertoin tota noin niin ylös ja alas. I have returned the ship's controls back to you, lieutenants. But I've also accessed your shipboard computers. And they will send you periodic messages. Um. Now, target my fighter, lieutenants. Nothing more, nothing less. Target acquired. I have a strong lock, sir. Okay, you got it. Keep me targeted. Now let's review some basic engine controls. But don't touch anything until I tell you to do so. Is this really necessary, sir? We've been over this a thousand times. Not under my supervision, you haven't. And if you are going to fly my birds, I want to be absolutely certain you know what you are doing. <laughs> Understand those commands? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. During missions, if you forget any of the controls, the computer can give you a reference to all this stuff again. One half a day, they will get it on a bit, but they will buy it up in a Additional command is the match speed order. Target my fighter and then match my speed. Do this now. Flight control is set to match speed, Major. Good. Now follow my fighter. Be sure to stay close. Your ship will now match speed with every ship you have targeted, even hostiles, until you cancel it. This can be useful for tailing enemies without overshooting them and ending up in front of their guns. for exactly what your job is as a fighter pilot. Look around you. You are responsible for the safety of every one of these capital ships. I don't want you to sacrifice yourself needlessly. But if the situation requires, you are expected to give your life in defense of these ships. You are expendable. 
They are not. Yes, sir. Sound a little intimidated, Sandman. It's a big job, but you won't be expected to do it alone. Just take care of your wingman, and he'll take care of you. That's the first rule of combat. Always watch your wingman six. Your lives depend on it. Did you hear that, Panzer? The Major just gave me the permission to keep an eye on your six. Mm. Not that you haven't been doing that all along. Uh -huh. Let's move on with our training, shall we? Select Nav-1 and engage autopilot. Proceed to next waypoint. All clear. You pups remember the procedure to proceed to Nav-2? Yes, sir. Well then, punch it again. Proceed to next waypoint. Set course to NAV-3. You getting the hang of this? Yes, sir. Okay, hit it again. Proceed to next waypoint. Muodostelmalentoa. Sillähän ei sodat voiteta. That's one of our Corvettes. Be nice, will ya? Close up into formation with me. Hey, Arrows! Nice to see a friendly face. Same goes for you. How's it going? We're on picket duty in this backwater system. The monotony tends to grind on you after a while. There's nothing here but space dust, asteroids, and boredom. Well, as you can see, we've got a new gaggle of trainees. Maybe they can liven up your day. So you want us to give them some authentic training? Sure, why not? Lieutenants, I have switched your weapons to training mode, so damage and hits will only be simulated. Attack the Corvette and try to inflict hull damage greater than 90%. On the other hand, pilots, you'll each be considered eliminated if your own simulated integrity gets below 50%. Watch and learn, folks. Tarketoitiin noi komponentit. Tää on vanha optio. Star Citizen on periaatteessa Wing Commanderin jatkaja, kun siinä on samoja tekijöitä. Niin, niin. Alt S. K.
crippled now. Oh crap! You just got beat by a wing of plebes. <laughs> Looks like you've been training them good, Major. Anyways, we've checked your nav point back to the Wellington. Got a clear way home. Roger that. Good job, Sandman. You handled that well. Pilots, let's head course back to the Wellington. Good job out there, David. Your game was right on. You did great too, Angela. Thanks for having my back. You did all right. Now let's get moving. Proceed to next waypoint. Viking, how did your trainees do? Not bad, sir. Not bad at all. We might make pilots out of them yet. <laughs> That's what they pay us for. TCS Wellington, request permission to land. Finish taking the baby chicks out for a spin? Of course. Now it's time to bring them home to roost. All right, lieutenants. This concludes our little trip. Go ahead and land. We'll meet at debriefing. Mission complete. Good job out there, Sandman. You handled that arrow like an old pro, and you showed some leadership potential with your wing. Anyways, overall you did a good job out there today. We'll see if you can keep it up when the heavier training begins. Dismissed. Good morning, pilots. Since none of you ended up sucking vacuum on your first training exercise, Lieutenant Colonel Mitchell asked if we could keep from screwing up a few simple milk runs. You may consider them to be on-the-job training. Today we are tasked with escorting the shuttles and transports that brought you newbies, along with the replacement equipment and supplies you will use for the next few weeks out of the system. Each of you will be detailed a convoy of a few shuttles or transports depending on their destination. Personnel shuttle launches have been staggered so that at least one of the Diamondback senior officers will be able to observe you rookies and hold your hands on this mission. As soon as you return, the next escort flight will launch and so on. Check the computers for your assignments. Sandman, you'll be with me on this run. The transport TCS Aurora is headed for the Edding system. We will hook up with the transport and ensure it's safe passage. Lieutenants Chaplin and Chris Alago will be joining us. We have set up a four-point navigational route, passing by an asteroid field, and finally leading to the Eddings jump point at Nav 4. As soon as the transport has been safely delivered, we will return to the Wellington. Shuttle Bravo Sierra 80, you are cleared for takeoff. Your escort is waiting for you at the designated rendezvous coordinates. You have permission to launch, Lieutenant. This is Sandman, awaiting orders for escort mission. Nice to meet you, Sandman. They call me Assassin. And they call me Ninja. Nice to meet you, kid. Nice to meet you, too. How long have you guys been on the Wellington? We're a few months. We got put here right after the Battle of Earth. You guys fought in it? Yeah, we were in the same ferret squadron. It was actually our first mission right out of the Academy. Huh. All of us who survived were all promoted one rank after the bad escapade. That's really cool. Yeah, well, not all of us rookies survived. Well, it made for one heck of a career starter. Sandman, I see you met Assassin and Ninja. They're good pilots. The record at the Battle of Earth and their service on the Wellington has proven that. You'd do well to watch them closely. For the most part. 
Sometimes their communications decorum is a little lax. I'd rather not have you pick up that particular habit. Ah, oh, come on, Major. If we've got to fight a war, I think we've got the right to have at least a little fun while we do it. We all need to blow a little steam now and then. Don't push it. When have we ever pushed the line? You want a list? No, thanks. Good. Send navigation to Nav-1. Roger that, Major. Sandman, out. Hey, Sandman, don't forget to hook up with the transport's autopilot system. Fly within 950 clicks of the transport to make the link. Autopilot link established. This is the TC at Aurora. Autopilot linked. We are ready to go, Lieutenant. Proceed to next waypoint. Why not just steer the transport clear of them? It's the enemy we can't see that is most dangerous, Sandman. The asteroids provide cover and help us hide our supply routes. Right now, we are just going to skirt the edge of the field. It will provide some natural ECM for us and decrease the likelihood of us being detected. Even though there likely isn't anything out there trying to detect us, it's standard precautions and all, you know. Keep in mind, though, that the ECM works both ways so we probably won't see anything the size of a light fighter hiding in the asteroids until it is practically on top of us. So, yep. keep your eyes open for anything in the asteroids. Proceed to next waypoint. <laughs> We've arrived at NAV-1. 
Rock 3, I'm reading a lot of rocks and not much else. Looks like there's no danger here after all. Should we proceed to the next nav point? Wait a second. I've got some strange readings on the scope. Analyzing... Contact! I'm picking up multiple bogeys in the asteroid field. Computer reads as Razor and Demon class fighters. IFF is negative. You spoke too soon, Sandman. Look sharp. I'm seeing it too. Looks like the vessels are Terran. Could they be mercenaries or militia? If they were, they would have told us that already. They're probably just pirates. Pirates? How? What would they be doing here? Sandman, just because we've been fighting the Kilrathi for the past 35 years or so, doesn't mean piracy and other criminal activities have just come to a screeching halt. Well, then let's take them out. Well, you need to warn them first. They are citizens of the Confederation after all. Assassin, read them the rights. Unidentified fighters, this is Arrow Escort Flight from the TCS Wellington. You have the right to get the hell away from us. You have the right to tell us that you are pirate scumbags. And you have the right to attack us and get blown to space dust. What are your intentions, over? Die, pig! You know, I'm actually feeling kind of disappointed here. I was hoping for an army tea or something like that. Sir, I don't think he liked his rights. I don't think so either. Bandits are accelerating to attack speed, heading directly for the Aurora. That does it. Break formation and open fire. Protect the TCS Aurora at all costs. Yes, sir. Breaking formation and opening fire. TCS Wellington, the Aurora is under attack by pirate forces at NAV-3. Request backup. Over. Request acknowledged, Major. Okay, Sandman, this is the real thing, so keep your eyes open. If missiles are fired at you, you need to make sure to use your countermeasures. Remember, your missile alarm will beep faster the closer the missile gets to you. When it gets close, drop the countermeasure, hit your afterburners, and make hard. That will be the best chance for evading the missile. Take out those demons first! They're capable of carrying a heavy missile bolt that could seriously damage the Aurora.
Major. The fighters are taken off. Let them go. Return to escort formation. But we could... Get back here, Sandman, or I'll remove you from the flight roster. We can't leave the transport vulnerable chasing after a few kills. Acknowledged, Major. I'm returning to escort formation. Major, this is Viking. We were told you were under attack. We hate to offer assistance. We were under attack, Viking, but we destroyed several of them and drove off the rest. They are fleeing into the asteroid field. What's the status of your wing? We are all functional. Sandman didn't do half bad in a real fight. <laughs> Thanks, sir. I did my best. You're turning out just fine, kid. You guys should have seen him. Good work, David. I can't wait to hear all about it. That's right. We've got a decision to make. My wing is still fresh. Do we pursue the pirates? Negative. Lieutenant Colonel Mitchell says the chances of an ambush is too great. You are to finish your current objective and then return to base. From there, you will organize a proper search. Okay then. Let's get the transport to the jump point at Nav 4. Then they'll be safe. Viking, we'll see you back at base. Activate the autopilot. Proceed to next waypoint. Custer performing jump point control. Did you have any problems out there, Applewing? We ran into a few pirates, but we were able to beat it back. Pirates? Uh, that's surprising. TCS Aurora, we are ready to assume escort. Affirmative. Thanks for the escort work, Major. We'll guard the transport until she leaves the system. You're relieved of your escort duty. Roger that. Applewing, let's get back to the Wellington. Set course back home to Nav 5. Proceed to next waypoint. Mission complete. Welcome back, Alpha Wing. The flight deck is free. We have clearance to land. Good job out there. Roger, Wellington Control. All right, boys. We can go back home now. Very nice work, Sandman. We were all taken by surprise by those pirates in the system. You kept your cool, followed orders, and fought well, and kept yourself and your wing from getting smeared to nanoparticles. Don't let your reputation of being the top prospect in your class go to your head, but you did well enough out there today. Novelli. Pilots, as you may have all heard, during our escort missions yesterday, a group of pirates attacked the transport Aurora. Several pirates successfully escaped from the engagement. Despite the confirmed pirate presence in the system, we are going to continue with our training as scheduled. If you encounter pirates or any hostiles during your training flights, you are not to engage without direct orders. We are short of tasks in this sector at the moment, so you will be assigned to a different class of fighter for a few training missions. Some of you guys will fly the F-86C Hellcat 5, a wonderful multi-purpose fighter which you will fly a lot in the future. Others will get to fly the F-66B Thunderbolt 7, a heavy fighter that can absorb and dish out severe pain. 
Upon launch, we will fly to the nearest okay, asteroid belt. We will then use the asteroids for target practice. But, and hear me well, do not fire any missiles without permission. Every missile you fire without my express say-so will be taken out of your pay. Those things aren't cheap, and the taxpayers <laughs> don't, like don't like paying for trainees who get trigger happy. This is Wellington Control. Alpha Wing, you're cleared Ego. and may launch any time. In the Amulton. Taratala. Yo, Taratala. Thunderbolts. You know, this is very depressing. We're stuck here without any action or Kilrathi. There's nothing interesting in this system at all. Don't get down about it, man. Just do what I do in these kinds of situations. Imagine, we are on a beach somewhere, soaking in the sunshine, drinking in the ocean breeze, surrounded by the sounds of summertime and lots, and I mean lots, of beautiful women. Hey, thanks for reminding me. The last time I was on a beach, I was 17, and had a wonderful time with this amazing girl. She was a redhead. Very smart and very exciting. Wonder where she is now. Sounds nice. Last time I was on a beach, I spent the whole day meditating on the waves. It was very serene. Yeah, the last time I was on a beach, I was with Ninja. While he was busy contemplating nature, I was busy keeping all the women company. Why does that not surprise me? Hey, Major, do you have any nice beach and sunshine memories? You know, Assassin, as a matter of fact, I do. Ooh, I can't wait to hear it. I remember my last r, &R. I had orders from the ship's psychologist to take some shore leave, relax, <laughs> and work on getting control of my anger. He told me that as a squadron leader, I can't lead if I can't keep my temper in control. I came back from that leave feeling refreshed and much more in control of myself. I think I've been doing a lot better managing my anger since then. Glad well, to hear you've got the up. whole anger management thing down. Because if that's the case, then I guess it's okay to tell you what the ship's shrink told me what I need to work on. Said I need to stop using Major Boz toothbrush to scrub the toilets. Although it gets them really clean. It will be pretty hard to give up that habit. Oh yeah, I like that one. Good luck with that. Well, the ship's psychologist told me that I need to stop charging my drinks to Major Boz's account. So that was you guys? That's it! I'm going to kick your sorry hind parts from here to Vega! So, Major, how's that anger management thing going for you? Just set course for nap one. Hey, we're just messing with you, you know that, right? It's how we show you how much we like you. Proceed to next waypoint. Asteroid field. Roger. Flight. Arm full guns. Let's have some target practice. Arming guns. Use just for guns. Side set to four. If you fire any missiles, come out of your pay. Keep an eye on your shielding. Now destroy some asteroids, pilots. Wow, this thing's firepower is completely different from the arrow. Ripping apart these asteroids like butter. Is from me, man. I'll take an arrow over anything, any day. Yeah, same here. This Hellcat's just slowing me down. That's why you two are here. You guys need to diversify your skill sets. We've got something on the comm channel. Matching it through. Major, this is Wellington Control. One of our Hellcat patrols picked up a signal and went in all by themselves to stir up trouble without calling for backup. We are now under attack by an overwhelming number of pirates not far from your position. Wellington Control, who are the pilots? Captain Burton and Lieutenant Cooper, Pink, and Hornaday. Jeez, what was Burton thinking? He had orders. Captain Burton reported that Lieutenant Cooper killed off from formation and engaged without orders. 
Captain Burton ordered the rest of the wing to attack to allow Cooper to withdraw, but then the fighting became too intense. Wellington, we will assist them. Heading to NAV-2. Activate the autopilot. Proceed to next waypoint. Yeah, he does personally have all of them have to get. All right, we're closing in on their last known position. Now this is real, kids, so stay sharp. This is Major Boz. Bravo Flight, where are you guys? Good to hear from you, Major. This is Bravo Flight. We are heavily engaged. Burton, get your wing out of there. Withdraw to our position at once. There's too many of them. We can't withdraw without exposing ourselves to enemy fire. I've got it under control, guys. I've already killed three of them. Just keep them off my back and watch me go. I'm on my way to Ace of the Day. What do you think about that, Markham? Cooper, don't be an idiot. Captain Burton, we are moving to assist. Make it fast, Major.
Victor. Sandman, remember this. In war, people die. It's an everyday reality. The real tragedy is when people die when they didn't have to. That's what happened here today. Cooper's arrogance killed both him and Burton. What a waste. We'll have to complete Bravo's flight patrol. Let's move on to NAV-3. Proceed to next waypoint. Tuli korvettikin torpeidoitua tässä samalla. There's nothing here, sir. Wait, I'm picking up multiple disturbances at the jump point. How many? I'm picking up eight capital ships. One of them's a carrier. It's a big one, too. Hey, relax. It's Confederation. Our guys, you know? Unidentified fighters, this is the TCS Kennedy requesting your identification codes. Roger that, Kennedy. Transmitting codes. Okay, your codes check out. What's going on, guys? We just had a tangle with some pirates, including a frigate. We took out the trash. How about you? We're here for resupply. Really? Here? Yeah, well, orders are orders, I guess. Of course. You guys seem to be low on fuel and weapons. Why don't you land on our deck? We'll fill you up and reload you in case you run across any more pirates on the way back home. Our zombie wolf squadron will keep stuff quiet for the time being. Sure, we'll take you up on that offer. No problem. Thanks for all the help you guys have been doing to support us heavy carriers on the front. You are clear to land. You heard the lady. Land at the Kennedy for rearm and refuel. Mission complete. Very nice work, Sandman. Not bad for your first time in a Thunderbolt. Now that we are back on the Wellington, you can stop drooling. <laughs> Only the very best and most experienced pilots are assigned to the fleet's new Lexington-class heavy carriers. You've got a long way to go before you qualify for that kind of service. Lexington we lost two men today because of one pilot's mistake. Lieutenant Cooper ignored the order not to engage without orders and backup. He wanted some kills for himself. In doing so, he needlessly endangered himself and the three other pilots in his wing. Now he and his wing leader, a veteran pilot, are dead. I want you to take Burton and Champ's death as a lesson. When you see numbers beyond your abilities, you call in for backup. You do not light your afterburners in an attempt to find some glory. Unlike what you have seen in the hollow vids, there are no heroes out there. Don't get so confident in your own abilities that you underestimate your enemies. That is the quickest way to get outfitted with the coffin. The funeral is tomorrow at 0900. Uniform will be Class A dress blues. Be there. Yes, täytyy, täytyy tota tsekata niin nauhaa mitä on tullut. Tätä on taas ihan hirveesti. He doesn't dare deserve to die. So, um, mä ehkä jostain muualta lukisin tämän mieluummin kuin näytöltä. Morning, people. If you were not aware, the TCS Kennedy was in the system this morning to replace her combat losses. We have transferred the Hellscream Squadron, the Longbow Bombers, and two escorts over to them. They have moved on and left us with a little conundrum. On their way to the rendezvous, the Kennedy Recon fighters detected a strange signal in the far reaches of this system. The Wellington's own long-range sensors have also picked up a series of electromagnetic signals in that vicinity. We know something is out there, but can't identify it. With the Hellscream squadron gone, our junior squadron's proficiency in the arrow has tagged us as the Wellington's eyes and ears. My flight will fly a scout mission that will bring us to the edge of the Wellington scanner range. The rest of the Diamondbacks, under direct command of Colonel Mitchell, 
will initiate a long range cap around the carrier, just in case whatever is out there happens to have hostile intentions. You know what to do, so do it. Dismissed. Alpha, you're cleared for launch. Go solve the mystery for us. Do you think the signal could be a result of more pirate activity, Major? We don't have enough data yet to even make an educated guess. What do we do if we find another concentration of pirates? We'll report back to the Wellington and put together a proper strike. This is not a search and destroy mission. Let's get to it, gentlemen. Proceed to next waypoint. Proceed to next waypoint. Huh. Looks like we might be on to 
or something. We're getting closer and the contact's still there. Hey Ninja, wanna bet that the contact's going to fade out? I bet that it is. 100 credits say so. Hey, wait, my bet was that it will fade out too. There's no way I'm betting it will stay. Any second now. I'll fade out and I'll be 100 credits richer. Uh, guys. Hey, what's there to bet on when we both have the same thoughts? It's not fair, man. Uh, guys. Not now, Sandman. We're trying to figure out the bet. There's no bet to figure out. I'm not betting. Freaking con, man. Jeez, man. Uh, guys, that contact's now breaking into several separate ones. <laughs> what the? Oh, crap! Now forget it. Bandits! Bandits! Right in front of us! Bearing zero degrees, negative five degrees. Keep I have that reading negative. Computer reads targets as Kill Wrath, the dark head class. Ninja Assassin. Looks like both of you lose the bet. I guess I'm the default winner. Major, I'm picking up four more dark heads behind us. They are inbound on our six. Uh -oh. I think we've been duped. Heads up. Dark heads in front of us are accelerating to attack speed. We're right between the hammer and the anvil. Jeez, it's a whole freaking Kill Rothy fighter squadron gunning for us. Suckered us into following fake signals away from the carrier. All fighters, break an attack. We'll have to fight our way out of here. We better let the Wellington know. Roger that. Wellington Control, we have contact with Kill Rothy forces. DCS Wellington, this is Major Boss from Diamondback Squadron. Come in. Over. Wellington Control, this is Arrow Control from Diamondback Squadron. Wellington Control, come in! Over, get through. You must be jammed. I see the radio. Look at that fighter lingering far away. Targeted. You mean that back talk? You're almost right, Sandman. That's a Zartok. One of their new electronic warfare crafts. Built on a back talk chassis. You know what? I think I get it now. That Zartok that broadcasted those fake signals, and then once we were out of range of the carrier, it started jamming our comms. Wow, Ninja, you're a genius! What can I say? Days to stay in school. Mission objectives updated. Destroy the Kirabi fighter squadron and hand the Zartok. <laughs> Taking charge of the Wellington Spider Wing. 
Rogers. Report in. Okay, this is Ninja out. standing by. Blank. Assassin reporting in. This is Hubler. I'm with you. This is Floyd. I'm still functional. Sandman? Uh, this is Sandman. I'm here. Anyone else? <sighs> Just the six of us, then. I'm not picking up any escape pods. All pilots of Lost Fighters are assumed KIA. Alpha Wing. Land for rearm and refitting. One more thing. Watch out for the fires on the flight deck. Yeah. Mission complete. Pilots, things could be better to say the least. Today was an exercise in Murphy's Law. While we were out chasing ghosts, the Wellington was attacked by squadrons of Kilrathi fighters. The Kilrathi must have been watching us for a while. They attacked us just after we offloaded half our fighter wing. The bastards hit us when we were most vulnerable. We don't have time to give honors to our many comrades who died today. We will attend to that when the crisis is past. For now, we need to work on surviving. We have beaten back the first wave, but sustained heavy damage. Our engines are only able to function at a fraction of their power. With Lieutenant Colonel Mitchell's death, and the losses incurred in the last conflict, all we have left are a trio of combat veterans and a handful of you youngsters, along with the fighters that the techs are working on bringing up to speed. We have four arrows and two thunderbolts left. That means we don't have enough strength to project our firepower. All of us are needed to provide cover for the Wellington. We are making the best time our engines will allow to the Eddings jump point, trying to retreat toward Westland, the last known position of the Kennedy Battle Group. It is likely the Kilrathi have other forces in the system, so we can expect them to try to intercept us. Stay alert and ready to fight. Dismissed. Angela on sisar kuoli. We finally got long range scanners partially online, only to find that the probable origin of the Kirathi attack is a lot closer than we'd like. We are detecting at least one unknown contact in the system, but the damage to our sensors and enemy ECM is preventing us from getting an accurate reading on the size, strength, or precise location of the force in question. Unfortunately, if push comes to shove, we have no strike capability to counter a large enemy force as we unloaded our longbows to the Kennedy. We've sent a distress call to any nearby confed forces, but there's been no response. We can only assume that any other vessels close enough to assist us have either been destroyed or did not receive our distress call through the Kilrathi jamming. With our engines partially repaired, we are still making time to the Eddings jump point. We can't outrun anything in our current condition, but with any luck, we can pursue a course that will allow us to evade the Kilrathi. We will launch all remaining fighters to escort the Wellington out of the system. Alpha will consist of myself and Sandman. Bravo will be Assassin and Ninja. Hubler and Floyd will be Charlie, flying Thunderbolts. Evasion is our best chance for survival, so we will take an indirect route to the jump point. We will escort the Wellington through navs 1, 2, and 3. The jump point out of here is at nav 4. It is likely that the Kilrathi will have some sort of capital ship for the jump point, so the Thunderbolts should try to save the torpedoes until then. There's no room for error, people. We are a damaged carrier with fewer fighters than a destroyer. We are a very tempting target for the cats. Do all you can to make sure we aren't an easy one. Godspeed. Fighters, you're cleared for immediate launch. Okay, so I'm <laughs> Wellington, yeah. what is your current status? All integrity is screwed up beyond all recognition. Engines are less than 50% operational. A shielding is intermittent. Half our turrets are destroyed. Captured missile launchers are damaged. We still have some internal fires. 
Might as well give this old tub a new nickname. Maybe the cheesiest bullseye or something like that. You know, as grim as this looks, I'm actually looking forward to the challenge. Stow it, people. This is serious, so act the part. Pulls up to escort formation and set course to Nav-1. Thunderbolts, check in. I'm locked, loaded, and ready to go. The Dex did a good patch-up job. All lights are green. Peter was primed and ready. Good. Ninja, Sandman, Assassin, let's keep those Thunderbolts alive. We'll probably need their capital ship strike ability sooner than later. Proceed to next waypoint.
distance, the Jammer field is still on us. Return to escort formation and proceed to the next waypoint. I don't like flying blind like this. It's not like we have any other choice. Move out. Proceed to next waypoint. Torpedoes. But Major, we barely have enough torpedoes. 
torpedoes to take down one of the cruisers. And that's if we hit it just right. We'll take the other one down the old-fashioned way.
I'm not prisoner material. Especially considering what the cats do to capture pilots. I'm planning to go out with a bang. I'm with you, Major. Count me in. Let's do as much damage as we can. Okay then. Get the show on the road, folks. All units, follow me. Jumping out. 
We'd like to do a clean sweep of the system ourselves to take out any stragglers, but we've taken too much damage. We've transmitted a request for reinforcements to make sure Oberon is free of any Kilrathi activity. Copy, Dover. We've done all we can today, pilots. It's However, I have the feeling it's only just yeah, begun. Yeah. Pilots, initiate landing pattern. Melkoinen, melkoinen tutoriaali kyllä.